is it, Catman. It all comes down to this very moment. My mother's life is on the line. <laughs> My own life is on the line. But I trust you guys. We can do this. still here. I have to be, even though I feel like fading. Once again into the fray, huh? For the last good fight I'll ever have. Hey, kiddo. Whatever happens out there, you're the best. I just wanted you to know that. Sup, wizard? Cracking up? Ah, uh, shut your crap, cat man. I can't help but look back at all the shit we've been through. But hey, it was fun having you guys around this one last time. Who said it's gotta be the last? Hmm. I don't know, kid. Maybe it's not. We can still keep going, dude. After this is over, there's gonna be a whole different world for us out there. Buckle up, pineapples. We're out of time. Sure, dude. You got this, kiddo. Good luck out there. One more thing. Kick ass tonight. I will. P1 Gallo 07. A Chinese model made in Taiwan. Powered by two engines. Sturdy frames. Sacrifices speed for defense, but overall a balanced build. Have you ever considered adding a third engine to your build? It may improve the lack of speed and add more juice for maneuvers. Wow, dude. It could represent a 12% overall performance increase. That's awesome to hear. I'll talk to Duke. My build actually utilizes seven different engines. Seven? Yeah. The four of them are micro-engines developed by our brand. I'll show you what they can do in a minute.
punching stance. I can see you manage to attack with your mecha's whole body. It's a different thing for a flying mecha, though, since I can't rely on ground grip. But you do it right. I'm impressed both with your piloting and your mecha. Thanks, dude. Your mech is the coolest. I designed her myself. Sorry, I screwed up. I made a jump too early, so Angle didn't reach full potential for that last attack. I keep making mistakes. I haven't been this anxious in a while. You truly are a worthy opponent. Don't worry, dude. Everyone makes mistakes. You're right. It's only been one week since I got this build. I'm still getting used to it. Jugular, darling. Yes! Donkey bought himself some time! Not wrong, honey. But that's not the only thing that's impressive about this fight. Uh, the kiddo is keeping up with her. He may not be as gracious, but I dare to say we have a chance.
impressed by your skills and your maker's performance. Seems like it is the end of the road for me. I lost a well-fought fight, but I'm so glad I'm now able to look forward to our next match. I'm eager to make some adjustments. blood is being drained dry by the United States of North America. Millions have died, while billions still starve. In order to profit, the USNA has hidden the truth, keeping giant oil companies afloat. It is estimated we still have 120 years of petroleum supply available for extraction. With the discovery of a new formula able to deliver far more proficient fuel generation, the USNA has done everything in its power to stall the status quo. The discovery of a new element called blazinium has been denied, refused, and discredited by every North American scientific academy. Blazinium supplies have been stolen, buried, and covered by the so-called International Peace Police. An explosion in the oil complex known as Heart of the Ocean has caused over 7% of Earth's water body to go to waste. The USNA still bleeds all of Eastern Asia for any droplets of oil they can get their hands on. Black oil. Black blood. For so long, I've watched my brothers and sisters die so the USNA could keep its supremacy. Their power display has put the world in check since World War II. But no more! My name is Igor Komarov. And I am taking over this planet. What you have all seen so far is a festival of pure entertainment and worthless combat. Oil-fueled giant robots beating oil-fueled giant robots. The very oil stolen and ripped from my brother's lands. The very oil that stains our oceans black. The very oil that fuels our nations and flows through the veins of our homelands. The very same black oil that sustains 70% of the world's most prosperous country. Our precious oil is being dumped to feed war machines for entertainment. While the USNA barges into our homelands ever insatiable. More and more oil to feed the supremacy machine. And in the shadows, they hide and steal our achievements. They keep the truth away, so they can still keep going on, extending their economic superiority, breathing life into the American dream. I say, no more! tonight to prove to all of you that the Blazinium is real. The Soviets will no longer abide by USNA laws and agreements. We are no longer your lapdog alliance. This goes to send a message to the world. You amuse us with your war machines in a popular blood sport, bearing a past of bloodshed and genocide they were created for. You 
to turn war and oil into entertainment. And we retrofeed you with curious eyes and astonished gazes. We are the ones who sustain your circus. Here stands your champion. The champion of the world over all war machines. From the ten best pilots and the ten best machines. You've chosen your champion. Now, let me present you mine. SVK is a blazenium fueled war machine made from materials gathered around the world. Its sole energy source is capable of sending 20 spaceships back and forth to the moon with less than 20 gallons. Such is the power the USNA is keeping from you. A shit Soviets? We're on to it from the start! So that's what you got in store? This motherfucking robot ain't leaving the premises! I don't care what it takes! International Peace Police! Yes, sir! Let's take this hippie under custody! Fuck! Gotta find Neb! Neb! We gotta get the hell out of here! What about Uncle Knife? I'll take care of that. Where is everyone? Time's up, Flash. Shade? Shade? Shade! A turning point. A 
a second chance to make things right. Though I've never deserved that chance. Wherever I go, whatever I do, it all comes back to that day. I threw my life away that day. I wanted to prove something. I didn't want to be a weakling anymore. There's no excuse for my stupidity. At least I got to see her smile one last time. Coltrane. Oyabun. Duke. Knife. Nap. I failed them all. Always have. The fuck was I even trying to do? I know what I am. This is all just pretend. I'm a piece of shit swirling down the toilet. Always was. Always will be. Even so. I couldn't help but enjoy my time with you guys. Even though I never deserved shit, I was having so much fun. I wish I could have done more for you. I wish I had saved the day. I wish I was the hero of my own story. But I guess I'm just happy to watch. It all fade away. You're such a drama queen. It's not like you didn't know about it. We made a deal. You knew from the start this was gonna end. Come on. I even made it so fucking clear. Day after day after day, you saw it all slip away. So what did you expect? Nothing can last forever. In fact, most things need to die to give space for another app with the old, in with the new. What's the big deal, Trash? This is it. Wanna play some more? Sit down, Trash. I'll be player one. Am I dead? Does it really matter? Hmm. The only thing you can do right now is keep on playing. This game kind of sucks. Well, that's because you play like shit. Hmm. What if I'm playing it wrong? Can't we just reset it? Start from the beginning? Well, you could do that, but nothing would really change. This is how it ends. Why am I still here? Because we signed a contract. I don't remember it. You stuck for the ride, didn't you? You could jump off at any time, forget about all this, but here you are. You sold your soul to the devil. It's only fair I get a bit out of your time. So, what happens now? You didn't make your choice yet. Is there a choice to be made? There is, and I guess you've been preparing yourself for so long for this chance. I want to give you what you want, your most precious secret desire. Do you know what it is? The end of all pain. As I stare down at this precipice, I see myself diving in. Drifting and rolling, swaying to the wind, my body vanishes into oblivion. I'm cosmic dust. I'm but a conscience thrown into space. I'm part of the universe, a whole constellation, a veil of darkness gazing into infinity. Suddenly, I realize I still breathe. I still think. So I zoom in into that familiar blue planet. I see them as ants running about, doing their stuff. I'm 
mesmerized. All I want to do is watch them going to the supermarket, spending their lonely nights in front of the TV, waiting anxiously for a drop of love. I seem satisfied. My hunger stays dormant for a million years. I see them cry, I see them laugh, I see them fail only to succeed. I see them changing all the time, becoming better or worse, but never staying the same. And suddenly, I envy them, but I also despise them because they can't see the full picture. I want all the good things without having to face the bad ones. I'll give up life a million times because it isn't worth it. Why would I ever go through all this shit, struggling like hell for a few minutes of happiness a day? I'd rather not join this race. I'm an outsider. I'm staring from outer space. Because I know I can't do what all of them can. I don't want to. Where is it going to end? Where will this life lead me? What's the fucking purpose of living like a fucking human being? So, return me to dust. I'm a part of the blackness. A dot in the universe. The absence of consciousness. Make me nothing. Make me in existence. Is that what you really want? <sighs> no trickeries. You won't look into my heart or something. Weigh my soul against a feather. I don't fucking care. We made a deal. I'll give you a choice, but think carefully. I'll only offer it once. Yes, your mother fucking dead and all. Lost bullet in a shootout. Pierced you right through the happy drummer. Sure, if it was up to me, I'd cut off your head instead, but, well, that's gotta do for now. Anyways, trash. White door. Black door. White door. This shit is everything you ever wanted. No mistakes. I ain't talking about death here. If you go through that door, you'll never even know you went through it. All records of your existence will be erased. You won't even know anything about that because you won't exist anymore. You won't think. You won't breathe. It's eternal darkness. Except darkness is still a thing, so I'm not even talking about that. It's the absence of everything. Total void. It won't be a reset state, no. It'll all be over, so you won't have to worry about anything anymore. Your past, present, and future, all stardust. Beautiful trash. Black door. You get back to your stupid, fucked up life with one extra hole. Your mother left you when you were a kid. You were raised by a criminal who despised you to help. You got beat up in school every day, but at least you made a truly great friend. Then you became a criminal yourself, but you had the chance to learn from a virtuous old man. Then we made a deal. You screwed it up. Killed a man who unleashed a chain reaction that ended up humiliating, torturing, and killing that virtuous old man. Not to mention, you got yourself and your true friend kicked out of that country. Then you robbed a bank with a bunch of misfits, but you never really touched your part of the price. You played house for three years with a woman and her daughter and then bounced, disappeared from their lives. Then your bank robber friend died for unknown reasons and left you a giant stupid robot. Well, you know how it goes from here. That's your baggage, trash. The weight you gotta carry. I can't see what hell will happen if you decide to choose this door. Whatever door you choose, that's the end of your debt to me. I won't pester you anymore. Well, maybe for fun at some point, but you owe me nothing, trash. So what's it gonna be?
Black door. So, back to fuck stakes. Do I want this? Should I really keep going? Even if I know I've messed up so many lives in the process, every step I take feels like a disaster. Like an elephant in a china shop. There's Neb. But then again, wouldn't she be better without me? It's such a hassle to be here, doing things, trying so hard not to screw everything up. I don't want to disappear. Not really, but if it keeps me from suffering, wouldn't it be such a bad thing? If I choose this, I must do it for myself and no one else. No looking back. No regrets. Then again, why the hell? Well, don't go regretting your crappy choice. I won't. Huh. I really thought you wouldn't take the chance. Let me make one last question before you go then. Why did you choose this door? What's in it for you? I can assure you nobody would miss you and you ain't gonna make a difference to the world. Also, there's a great chance you're gonna suffer like a dog all for nothing. You'll have to face all your demons. Many are just lurking, waiting for the right moment to jump on you. So why? Why go through the trouble? Why keep on living a life that you already messed up? Black is my favorite color. You'd make the right choice. Oh, yeah, one. I've been waiting for you. Here. This bitch has been waiting as well. Seven Leaf Lotus. I'm sorry, old man. What I did to you, I... You had no power over me. I made my choices alone, and I stand by them. Even so, it was my fault. It was all my fucking fault. I'm the one who killed that man. I'm the one who killed you. You're just a fucking fool. A fool who made a great mistake, but still a fool. So what? You're gonna cry all the way to your death? Is that what you're going back for? To live a life filled with regret? You didn't kill me, son. I did it. I chose it. And don't you dare take it away from me. I would die a thousand times before you. Why? Because you are my son and I love you. You're a good man, Shade. You made a mistake, and you will pay for it in time. Nonetheless, it shouldn't stop you from doing your best. Learn, improve, change. It doesn't matter what the world thinks about you. In the end, you and only you will be your judge. Oh, yeah, boy. You're my son. Don't you forget about it. I ain't no father of a piece of shit. Come, let's get this over with. What do you mean? You have to let me go. Let me become a bitter memory and stop dragging me through your mess. What? I, uh, I can't do that. Then you'd better have chosen that white door. You ain't getting through me until you're ready. You want back? You gotta deserve it, son. No arguing about that. I can kick your ass for eternity. Oh, your bun. Stop being a coward and face me. Come on, Kate. with all your strength. Oh, your bun. That's more like it, kiddo. I ain't holding back. This isn't right, old man.
years. Are you Yakuza or not? I was exiled. Bullshit. Did you think they would make it so easy for you? They'll be coming for you, kiddo. Once you stay in black, there's no going back. You better suit up. A storm is coming your way. I don't know if I can make it. I don't want to hear this. Got any big plans? I'm just a scumbag who killed a man in a moment of plain stupidity. I killed a father. I killed a husband. I killed a man who deserved to live his life a thousand times more than I do. But I ain't gonna feel sorry for my shitty ass anymore. I'll make up for it. I'll do everything I can. So I can see her smile again. I can do so much for that man's daughter. I'm supporting her dreams in any way I can. I'll be there for her whenever she needs me. Even if her mother hates me, even if she despises me. I won't let the world take anything else from her. That's not up to you. I don't give a rat's ass about it. I just want to see Neb smile again. You killed a man and fell for his wife. You raised his child and ran away in fear they would find out. So how, how in hell are you going to make up for that? Do whatever it takes. I don't care. You talk big, you fucking piece of shit. Look what you did to me. The whole world is better off without you. I'm done with this bullshit, old man. I'm done being my own warden. I'm letting myself out of this prison. God, the universe, the world, whatever they decide is right for me, I'll take it. But I won't. What? What? You fucking what? I won't judge myself anymore. I'll pay the price, whatever it is. Until then, I'll do my best just to keep her smiling from the bottom of her heart. This ain't your place. You should die. You should be dead. You worthless piece of trash. I'm done with you, old man. It's time for you to go. We both know Oyabun would never say something like that. He took it to the end with his chin up, pride intact, the biggest man I've ever known. When my time comes, I'll be ready for it, Oyabun. Just like you were.
always been guilty. Born as an unwanted foreign child, I was guilty of being different, guilty of being unlovable. I was guilty for not standing up for myself, not even once, because I felt I deserved every punch. I'm guilty of throwing myself in the dump before anyone else did it. Not worth it. Not good enough. I'm guilty of so many damn things I couldn't make a list. But the one thing I'm truly guilty of is that I never made an effort to love myself. Of all the violence I suffered from all the neglect around me, that's my fucking biggest mistake. I taught myself that. I made myself unworthy of love. And that was the start for this shit spiral I'm going down. Well... Maybe not. Who knows? I'm just tired of pointing fingers, grasping smoke. I'm done avoiding myself. I can't promise I'm going to love who I am right now. But at least I got to respect what I've become. I ain't a piece of shit. I also ain't any kind of superhero. What I am is just me. And under all the circumstances, I don't think anyone would do a better job at being myself. I'm proud of this, at least. I never meant to kill you. I just wanted to get rid of my weakness to protect those important to me. When I pulled that trigger, I killed my chances of forgiveness. I wasn't aiming at you, but at the whole world. I wanted to retribute all the violence I suffered. Now I know I was the one who hurt myself the most. I'm not looking for redemption anymore. I'll just accept things as they are. I took a life, and so my own life was taken. I'm sorry, Neb. I'm sorry I killed your father. I can't go back in time. I can't erase what's done, but for all it's worth, this is my turning point. Can't say this is an easy feeling, but I'm holding on to what I have. All these motherfuckers around me, I love each and every one of them. I'd die before I let anything happen to them. So I guess there's that. There ain't much I think about doing for myself right now. But once I heard, sometimes the best way to help yourself is to help someone else. Guess I want to do just that. In my own crooked terms, I guess. I'm glad I had you all there, my friends. It's been a while since I saw Cowboy for the last time. I heard he was taken by the IPP, some bureaucratic stuff with the Chinese government. I miss the sight, the smell of grease and metal, the thuds and clanks. With all the repercussions we got from the final fortnight, we got some good offers. We split a big load of cash and went about our ways. I can't help but think, GW planned this all along. Cowboy brought us all together again. A last reunion for the Dead Motherfucker Society. So we did cash in, unnatural as it sounds. With all the IPP ruckus and that Komarov stunt, the Met Committee still got our backs. Needless to say, the wizard was able to pay off his debt and release the dragon. Well, she'd never really, really been kidnapped, but that's another story. What's important is they finally got to enjoy some beach time. Cancun. I got some postcards, believe it or not. Just hope Wizard's keeping his distance from any gambling dens. Pineapples got back to his sister and nieces. He announced his retirement before we parted ways. A shame, really. Said he wanted to write a book to live in calm waters. He's a talented kid. He can make anything happen as long as he puts his mind to it. His sister's orphanage is a hit, taking kids from anywhere across the USSA. It isn't uncommon to see them on the news. They're part of Matt Margot's program now. May the pineapple god be watching over you, my friend. Neb finally went back to her mother. Somehow she managed to dodge the charges for setting her school on fire. I still can't believe she did that. But, well, at least nobody got hurt. By the way, I promise to keep in touch with her. I'll seriously do my best. Who am I kidding? I'll probably disappear for at least another seven years or so. I'll be on the lookout. 
just to know if she's doing okay, though. And I hope to see her again someday. She's the whole reason why I got back, after all. As soon as the FF was over, that piece of junk simply vanished. I hope he's traveling around the world like he said he would. Maybe looking for his own purpose. Most certainly annoying the hell out of someone out there right now. Yeah, I'm gonna miss Mr. Peeps for sure. As much as he was a pain in the ass, he was a good friend. The last I heard from the dynamic duo, they were set on a business trip to Hawaii. Jack is still undergoing severe physical therapy to get his legs up and running again. Wouldn't surprise me to see him as one of the best pilots on the planet as well. Also, I don't know if they'll ever return to Rain City. Seems like Hog's Yard was sold to some contractor. That place is going to turn out to be a fancy condo of sorts. Kala and Sayuki disappeared suddenly. No notes, signs, or whatever. I wonder how they're doing right now. Hope they didn't get tangled with the local mafia. Things turned out well for Z. She's working on her own mech brand and growing her biz around the world. I often see her face on the covers of expensive magazines about mechs and millionaires. She closed shop in Rain City and moved to the USNA. As for May, I heard she really did join the police force. I can never figure out what the hell is going through her head, but, well, good luck out there. Old ass Cap is expanding his business to board games. Seems like he still had some ideas of his own. He's majoring in game design. Good old ass Cap. I'm gonna miss our games. I didn't see Joy after the incident, though I heard the writer was still operational some weeks ago. Maybe she's back in action as a bounty hunter. I doubt she could keep being a bartender for so long. As for Rain City, guess this will be the last of it. Old folks are either dying or moving away. Old buildings are getting demolished to give way to subway stations and such. Soon enough, the whole damned place will be swallowed by the metropolis. I'll definitely miss it. As for me, who knows? I go where the road takes me. With everything that's going on with the world, I just feel like things are never going to be the same. We're on the edge of a third world war. In truth, it's already happening. It's not too far off until the USSA gets dragged in. The Soviets are investing hard in space programs, kicking off a space race with colonization in mind. Nothing's going to stay the same. I'm taking my time, getting ready for whatever's coming. I wish I could say more to you. I ain't very good with goodbyes, but, well... See you around, trash.
For years, I trained myself for this very moment. I knew all my body cells, all of my fucking heart and soul would betray me. If I were to choose this door, I can only trust my mind and its reasoning. Nothing to gain, nothing to lose. Whatever happens to the world, it's not my business. I'm out of the game for real. Really. What else could be better?